Christmas break as the team Sonic Kessels take on NASA, also known as the Newham All Stars. Kestrels are leading the league at 10-0 this season, uh, led, led by Issa Brandon and Elliot Datz. Newham All Stars sitting in the mid table at 5-4. They're led by Arif Sempala. So last time out, Kestrels won this game at the start of the season by, by 31 points. Uh, but NASA bringing a few guys since then, looking to get their own back here down south. So we're two minutes away from tip-off here. We've uh, just missed the walkouts from the players. But yeah, here we are. Kestrel's leading the league at the top in first place. NASA in sixth place in the Division Two South Conference. So we'll go through the teams now for you. Here's the Kestrel's lineup. It is Number zero, Russ Gerapi. Number four, that's changed to Jacob Offman making his debut for the Division Two team. Number five, Sean Mulhern. Number six, Sean Mabora. Number seven, Elliot Dads. Number eight, Asa Aziz is playing today. Number nine, Issa Brandon. Number 10, Joe Lloyd. 11, Matt Hughes. 12, Ilias Taiwo. And 15, Ash Briggs. And then the new All Stars for you go through in number order. So it's number four, Reese Quinland. Number five, Dequan Bigby Lowton. Number six, Daniel Delgado. Number seven, Arif Sempala. Number eight, Sheikh Sharif. Number nine, Ben Maranan. Number 10, Raphael Jaged. Number 11, Montel Dennis. Number 12, Anton Okorafor. And number 12, Anomi Anyowanyu. Okay, so just under a minute until tip off here down at the Solon Sports Complex. See the two coaches just going through their last little bits of business, just making sure everything's in check before they head onto the court. See Coach Matt Guyman here going through the uh, the early the early play calls with the starting five. And I believe the away team are player-led coached, so it looks like number 12. Anton Okorio for is uh, talking through their play calling. NASA look slightly depleted today with a few players who are up on the board that aren't in their team huddle. I think they're missing uh, Ben Maranan and Rafael Jaged by the looks of things. Ben Maranan looking like a big miss, averaging 14 points a game this season. So buzzer has sounded, teams are uh, now emerging as we're uh, going to see the starting fives. Kestrel's lining up, number zero, Russ Gerapi, number seven, Elliot Dads, 11, Matt Hughes, nine, Issa Brandon, and 15, Ash Briggs. NASA lining up with number eight, Sheikh Sharif, number 11, Montel Dennis, number seven, Arif Sempala, number six, Daniel Delgado, and looking like, just waiting for one more to come on court for the, for the All-Stars. Looking like it's going to be 14 Anomi and Yunwu. So NASA have a wealth of experience within their lineup. Uh, number seven, Arif Sampala, number eight, Sheikh Sharif, both having Division One impacts last season for Westminster Warriors and Thames Valley respectively. Uh, number six, Daniel Delgado, also have played uh, in the Division Two set up for the UEL team last season. So here we go. Last action before Christmas here as the ball goes up. And back down again. First ball goes to the Newham All Stars. Three for Reefs and Parlors off. Ash Briggs rebound. 
And away the Kestrels go. Elliot Dad's looking to get downhill to the hoop. That's off. Rebound 14 and you wound. Sempala downhill, blocked by Issa Brandon, out of bounds on the baseline, new and ball. Issa Brandon getting to work early on the defensive end, denying Sempala at the hoop. And that's to get the ball in bounds. Montel Dennis, mid-range jump shot, that's off. Battle for the rebound. It goes out of bounds of Kestrel's hand. Delgado on the wing, looking to go to work on Garapi. Downhill, foul called by referee Steve House on number zero, Russ Garapi. Just the hand check there by Garapi on the back of Delgado as he puts the shot up. The first free throw is off the front of the rim and no good. Second free throw off the back of the rim, no good. Needs to find somewhere in between there. Battling for the offensive rebound is no good. Dad picks it up. Brandon downhill and finishes the first score of the game as he goes to Issa Brandon. Turn the ball over here. Dad's down low. He's good. Assist there from Matt Hughes. Two quick scores there for the Kestrels. As Dave Dennis looks to get downhill. Mid-range jump shot is off. Briggs with the rebound. Brandon spins, finds Briggs. And Briggs finishes. Lovely play there from the Kestrels. Nasser yet to get on the score sheet here. One and a half minutes into the game. Delgado goes downhill. Resets out here. Ball is stolen by the Kestrels. Garapi out and finishes. 8-0 run here for the Kestrels as Nasser take an early timeout. Kestrels getting this advantage out nice and early. Eight points quickly in the first two minutes. Balanced scoring through four of the starters as they force Nasser into a timeout for a couple of steals and a couple of easy Layups to the hoop. Kestrel's run. Right, I need It's going to be a new and ball on the baseline. Sempala inbounds here to Dennis. Kessel's looked to trap at the half court. Nasser get out of it nicely. Dennis blocked by Briggs. Rebound by Brandon. As Kessel's get out on the break again. Dad's misses the layup, grabs his own offensive rebound and finishes. Kessler's looking to put on a press here quickly. Hughes at the head of it. Sempala looking for a double screen here. Gets downhill. Steps back. 
guided nicely here by Brandon. Sharif leading mid-range is good on the buzzer. Lovely bucket there from Sheikh Sharif. Brandon downhill takes the contact and finishes. No foul call there from the referees, but it doesn't matter as Brandon finishes anyway at the hoop. Kessler's lead 12 to 2. Delgado downhill, splits the double, Sempala. Out of bounds off, I'm guessing, off Ash Briggs there. Sempala, a new addition here for the. Uh, for the new All Stars, uh, averaging 20 points a game so far for them. Sharif stops. Briggs picks the ball off. Brandon gets out, finds Hughes for three. Boom! Matt Hughes for three is good. Downhill, off the backboard, Hughes rebound. Kestrel's breaking nicely as they always do as Brandon misses the fancy layup at the rim. Dennis out and finishes. Good finish there from Montel Dennis, averaging 18 points a game for the Northern Stars. Briggs takes the contact, finishes. Delgado looking to set up an offense here for the All-Stars. Spins, hooks, and drops the bucket in. Lovely ball movement there from the Kestrels. Finds Dads in the corner for three. Kestrels continuing to push out this lead. Delgado. Forces up a shot as he's fouled. That's no good. But he'll go to the line for two, two free throws as Sean Mulhern checks into the game for the first time for Matt Hughes. First free throw is good there for Delgado. Briggs kicks the ball to Garrapi quickly. He gets past the pressure. Briggs finds Dads in the corner. Dads finds Brandon, who finds Garrapi. Bit of a hectic offense here from the Kestrels as it results in a foul by An Yunwu on Issa Brandon, who will head to the line. Brandon on the free throw line. First one is good. Second free throw for Issa Brandon. Is off. Briggs bounces the offensive rebound, but it comes out as a NASA ball. Delgado calling the set, looking to use the pick, gets downhill. Resets back out to the top. Good defense there from Garrabi. And from Briggs, who gets the block. Kicks out ahead to Brandon. Brandon finds Dads in the corner for three. And it's off. Rebound, Brandon. And he puts it back in. Issa Brandon and Elliot Dad spearheading the Kestrels here, seven points apiece. Delgado gets past Garapi, gets downhill, turns it over. Dad gets out here. 
Lays the ball, no good. Another offensive rebound from Lisa Brandon. Blocked by Sheikh Sharif. And Montel Dennis fouled there by Ash Briggs at the halfway line with a little hip check. Elias Tywo checks into the game for the first time for Ashley Briggs. Delgado downhill. The finish is off. Delgado trying to get the cap off the hoop for NASA as the ball's kicked to Mulhern. Downhill, finds Gerapi, finds Tywo. Baseline drive. Lovely ball movement here from Kestrels. Gerapi in the mid range. No good. Brandon with the great hustle. Tywo kicks to Mulhern for three. Great intensity here from Team Cern and Kessel towards the end of the, towards the Christmas break. Not slacking off here. Big B Lodson looking to get downhill and Sean Mulhern. Mulhern doing a brilliant job blocking his path off. Ball in Delgado's hands. Bumps off Dads for the mid-range. That's good. Second one just rims out. Delgado looks to kick ahead to Sempala, picked off by Gerapi. Finds Brandon in the corner for three. Short. Another rebound by Nasser. Spin by Delgado. Finishes off. Tywo in the corner, drives, finds Mulhern, Gerapi downhill, Brandon finds Dads with a great cut, great finish, pushing the score out to a 19 point lead, two minutes left in the first quarter, Sampala gets out head blocked by Brandon, Brandon says not in my house, as it's a NASA ball on the baseline. See the replay here, great hustle there from Brandon. Sends that one back to London. Looked like a travel there, but no call. As Anyan Wu clears up the offensive rebounds and finishes. Ace Aziz checked into the game for the first time alongside Joe Lloyd. He's looking to set up the offense here for Kestrels. Tywo comes out, finds Dats. Tywo on the cut, fumbles the ball slightly, looks to back down the defender. Swings, finds Aziz, downhill, floater. No good, Dads offensive rebound. No good. Aziz hustling for the rebound, caught a, caught a stray arm there from number four, Quinlan. As, uh, Referees call that. Elliot Dad's leading all scorers already with nine points, shooting 50% from the field. Delgado leading NASA with five. Sean Mabora checking into the game for Ace Reziz, who's uh, I think he's a, has, a, has a cut. And we're going to be back underway. One minute 18 left in the first quarter. Daz looking for the post up. Paul Her using the screen of Joe Lloyd in the corner. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Paul Hearn puts the shot up. No good. And Yanui with the rebound. Bigby Lowton getting downhill. No good. Taiwo, no foul called there from the referee. It's, uh, a lot of Taiwo's arm was called, and it's out of bounds there. Quinlan steps out.
quite a few no calls here going from the referees. Let your physicality weigh out. Labora found off the inbounds. Shot clock was reset to uh, 14. Taiwo downhill, finds Lloyd in the corner for three. And it's good, Joe Lloyd in the corner. Knocks that one down off the assist from Elias Taiwo. Sempala, pump fake, downhill. And that's out of bounds off Taiwo. It's gonna be a NASA ball on the baseline. Mid-range from Quinlan, hits back iron. And Yanwu, and one. Ilias Taiwo looking to take a charge there. Slightly late across. That puts Anyanu at the line for his first free throws of the game. First one, back iron. Paul looks to set up an offence here. Gets downhill, beats Bigby Lowton, finds Lloyd in the corner, drives out of bounds. Catches coach Carlo Missouri on the head there as he's turning to Acer as he's in the corner. Three from Quinland, it's back rim. And Yanwu hustling offensive, on the offensive rebound, not able to get a shot up in time as the clock expires from the first quarter. Kessel's leading the score 31 to 13. Elliot Dad's leading all scorers with nine points. Issa Brandon with seven, both of them with four rebounds. Brandon with four assists. And for NASA, led by De Daniel Delgado with five points, and Anyanwu with four points, five rebounds. Kessel's with 10 assists here early as uh, they're looking to share the ball around very nicely. So here we go then, near the second quarter action. Kestrel's coming out with number zero, Russ Gerapi, number 10, Joe Lloyd, number seven, Elliot Dads, number six, Sean McBorah, and number 11, Matt Hughes. NASA taking a little bit longer to come out of their team talk, and looking to uh, cut down the 18-point deficit they find themselves in after the first quarter. Checking in with Number six, Daniel Delgado. Number seven, Arif Sempala. Number four, Reese Quinlan. Number 14, Onomi Anuanyu. And number five, Dequan Bigaby Lowton. We're underway here. Mabora drives, finds Dads on the kick out. 
Garrafi looking to get the work from Sampala, finds Lloyd, Lloyd for three. It's good, Joe Lloyd with a hot hand, two threes early here. As he pulls that one in the defender's face, Quinlan finds Anyamwu. Looks to get downhill, pulls up mid-range, is off. Anyamwu still battling for the offensive rebound, out of bounds. Nasser ball. No, Kestra's ball even. Referee not happy here with the back shot here from the Nasser players. As number four, Jacob Offman checks in for his Kestrel senior debut. The 17-year-old from Itchin College making his first senior, playing his first senior game today. And he gets us underway after that stoppage in play. Screen. Garrapy looking to find him, finds Hughes. Hughes looks to get downhill, finds Offman. Offman goes up and finishes Jacob Offman. Instant impact here as he gets himself on the board. Joe Lloyd guarding Sempala here on the wing. Called there by referee Steve House on number four, Jacob Hoffman, looking slight, on a slight hold, looking to guard the post of uh, Anyamwu. It's a baseline set here for Newham. Quinland with the mid, mid rangers off. Lloyd gets out, finishes nicely, Joe Lloyd. Putting himself onto eight points already early in his uh, in his four minutes of play as that one's thrown out of bounds by the Newham All Stars. He's going to get Kestrel's ball in their own half court. Substitution here. Montel Dennis comes in for uh, Quinlan. Garrapi using the Offman screen pulls up. No good, Offman battling for the rebound. Newell come up with it, Sempala downhill, looking to go at Joe Lloyd, deep three, just short. Hughes pulls down the rebound. Therapy on the cut, round the back. Offman juggles the pass slightly, goes downhill, lovely Eurocep and misses the lane. Couple of offensive rebound opportunities there for the Kestrel is no good, as it's going to be Kestrel's ball in the baseline. Offman got the defender jumping nicely there, just couldn't quite finish the ball at the rim. Receives the inbounds off Garapi. Garapi finds Lloyd in the corner. That one's short. Out get Nasser. Montel Dennis gets out, no good. Defended there at the rim by Garapi. Remember, Kestrel's fans, if you're watching at home, you can uh, vote for your player of the game. Today is just the MVP on the Team Sony Kestrel's app, available on Apple and Android. Delgado looking to get downhill on Garrapi. Good defense. Big B. Lowton puts it up, no good. Constant offensive rebound pressure here from Anyamwu. Who on the second attempt puts the ball in. That's eight rebounds very early here for Anyamwu, who's dominating the boards. Joe Lloyd downhill, fouled by Delgado, and that's no good. Going to go to the line for two shots. Oh, no. Where is the foul? Yeah, the foul is on Daniel Delgado. That'll be his first of the game. himself onto nine points. Second one, no good. Ball turned over there by Nasser Hughes getting out and finishes despite the pressure from Big B. Lowton. Sempala 
Salah getting downhill. Blocked by Hughes. Out of bounds. Off Sempao. Looking to get back in bounds to try and take the ball back. See that block again there from Matt Hughes. Just waits and sends that one back. Acer Aziz checks back into the game with a bandage and a headband over his eye. And Issa Brandon checks back in for Joe Lord and Elliot Dads. Sent Paul looks to jump the lane. Doesn't quite get there. Garropy in the corner. Behind the back finds Offman. Who looks to find the cutting Brandon. Trying to back down Gerapi. Good defense there from Russ Gerapi as the shot's off. Digby Lawson finds Delgado for three. That's hits nothing. Aziz gets out, leaks out, and scores. As Kestrel's pushed the score 43 to 15. Often with the defensive pressure on Anyamu. Sampala with the pump fake gets downhill. Puts up the floater. No good. Rebound. Issa Brandon as he looks to push. Therapy in transition as he's in the corner. Just off. Therapy picks off another pass. Finds Brandon in the corner. Thinks about the three. Spins. Offman in the mid range. Just short. Offman again. Floater. And it's good. Jacob Offman with his second basket of the game. Pushes the lead to 30. Delgado looking to get downhill, backing down Ace Aziz. Finds Dennis. Three is off right. Therapy looking to push. Finds Hughes in the corner. Caught a defender on the pump fake, but can't quite finish the lay. Good for NASA. Arif Sempala hitting from deep for his first score of the game. Hoffman finishes around the hoop. Timeout, NASA. Was leading here 47 to 18 with four and a half minutes left in the second quarter, being led by Joe Lloyd and Elliot Dads, nine points apiece, followed up by Brandon with seven and Jacob Offman with six on debut. NASA being led by Anyanwu with six points, Delgado with five. Anyanwu impressing with 10 rebounds already in the first half, four offensive and six defensive. As it may be looking like the only bright spark in the NASA ranks at this moment in time. Plenty of time to turn it around though. If Kesh can do it in the first half, no means that NASA can do it in the second half. And we're underway. 
Delgado back underway after time, NASA timeout. Delgado looking to set up an offensive set. And Yanru at the rim, no good. Sempala at the rim. And it's fouled by number four, Offman. That's his second foul of the game. Briggs checks in for Offman, who picks up two quickly as we see Sempala on the line. That one's off. Sempala averaging 20 points per game this year for uh, four new All Stars. That comes with shooting the ball at 40% from three as he misses both free throws there. Unlike him, who's uh, averaging 84% from the line. Aziz downhill, finds Taiwo, drives, finds the cutting Mulhern. Great basketball there from Kestrels. Brandon putting the offensive pressure, defensive pressure on full court. Nearly steals the inbound. As Delgado gets us back underway. Dennis looking to bump off Sean Mulhern. Delgado shrugs off his ease, finds Dennis with the finish around the hoop. Up with Ash Briggs goes out of bounds off Anyamwu. As Kestrels have a baseline set here. Let's see what they come up with this one. Delgado pokes the ball loose. Tyro on the defensive end, Sharif. Blocked by Taiwo, but had judged a foul by the referees. There's two fouls on Elias Taiwo here. And he probably just catches him on the arm and meets him with the body. Taiwo visibly not very happy with that one as Sharif misses the first free throw. one is good there but waved off by the referee as Sharif steps over the uh, free throw line. Battle here for the offensive rebound as Delgado comes up with it, looks to push. Step back three. Kicks the ball instead, makes the smart decision, finds Anyamu down low. Briggs comes up the rebound, push the ball to Mulhern. Briggs in the post, kicks straight back out to Mulhern for three, no good. Great rebound by Ash Briggs. Stripped. Turnover by Arif Sempala. As they look to extend a bit of full court pressure, Kestrels break that easily. And the ball goes out of bounds off number six, Daniel Gilgado's hand. <laughs> Tie for three in the corner, no good. Dennis, mid-range pull-up, back iron, grabs his own offensive rebound, stripped. Brandon looks to get downhill, Euro step. Out of bounds, Brandon's knee.
Delgado by number eight, Ace Raziz, as Delgado will go to the line again for two free throws. This will be his third trip to the line, fifth and sixth free throws, shooting it currently at 25%. Looks in a bit of discomfort here after that foul. First free throw, no good. Three throw is good. And a sub going to come here for NASA. Quinlan's going to check into the game for Delgado. Just putting a bit of a shift here for, for NASA playing every minute of the game so far for them. Takes a well earned rest. This guest will lead the game 49 to 21. One minute 45 left in the second quarter. Tyro looks to attack, finds Mulhern for three. Off right, Mulhern grabs his own rebound. Brandon fouled! But Tim Brown calls that one a travel. Quinlan looking to set up an offense here for NASA. Finds Sheikh Sharif. He finds the posting on Yamwu. Hands off to Quinlan who turns the ball over. Out goes Brandon, we all know what can happen here. Blocks by Sharif. He says, not in my house, as Brandon looks to throw the ball down. Great block there by Sheikh Sharif with the hustle. Looked like the only one to get back for NASA. Out of bounds off Sean Mulhern. Turnover by the Kestrels. You need to get set up quickly here. Nasser inbound the ball. Montel Dennis is fouled by Sean Mulhern on the drive. That puts Kestrels in the team foul penalty. So it's going to be two free throws for Montel Dennis. Good there for Dennis. As he moves himself onto five points personal. Tyro finds Briggs, finds the cutting Brandon who throws it away. Briggs, great hustle. But it goes out of bounds off his hand. Good hustle there from Ash Briggs, battling Anyamu on the rebounds, who, uh, who's been dominating so far. 11 rebounds already. Well, Onomi on Yamwu. Turnover by NASA. Brandon drives and finishes straight through the contact. Stripped off Sheikh Sharif by Elias Taiwo, but it's going to be a NASA ball on the baseline. And Yamwu hands off to Sempala for three. Nothing but net from Arif Sempala. Step beyond the three point line there. Can that ignite the scoring that we all know he can do? Brandon, his own offensive rebound. Finishes through a hell of a lot of contact there. Brandon bumps off Sharif. He misses the mid range. One second left. Brandon pulls. And that one's off. Kessel's leading this contest 53 points to 25 at half time. Kessel's being led in the scoring. Column by Issa Brandon, 11 points and six rebounds, six assists. Elliot Dads with nine points, five rebounds. And Joe Lloyd with nine points, two for three from the three point line. Kestrel showing their minutes around a little bit with Jacob Offman scoring six quick points for them off the bench. As Ash Briggs sat down for a few minutes with two quick fouls. 
NASA led in scoring by three different guys. And Yanwu with six points, but posting 11 rebounds already in this first half in 20 minutes of play for him. Daniel Delgado with six points, and Arif Sampalo with six. We have a 15 minute break here to the, here at the Sermon Sports Complex, and we'll be back at the end of the half. Right now.
So, second half action, ready to get underway. Fives coming out, I believe, at the same as the starting fives. Number zero, Ross Garapi, number nine, Issa Brandon, seven, Elliot Dads, 11, Matt Hughes, and 15, Ash Briggs. NASA coming out with number seven, Ruf Sempala, six, Daniel Delgado, eight, Sheikh Sharif, 14, and Yamu, and number 11, Dennis. Sempala for three. Drops in. A little bit of shooter's touch there for Arif Sempalo, who knocks down his third three of the game. Dad's in the corner, finds the posting bricks. Looks to face up on the Nyamwu, spins and finishes. And one, Ash Briggs. Lovely move there from the big man in the middle. Puts his total to, uh, to four points. Wait, that's six. First free throw. First and only free throw here for Briggs. That one's missed. Sampala pulls up. Little bit of a heat check there for Arif Sempala, who'd already knocked down three threes on five attempts. Garapi finds Dads in the corner. That one's off. Briggs battling for the rebound. Delgado rips it down, pulls up for three. Money. Turnover there for the Kestrels is going to be a NASA ball looking to up the uh, tempo a little bit for the All Stars. Delgado out on the wing gets by Garapi but blocked as he comes back across. Garapi finds Brandon on the cut. Lovely finish there from Issa Brandon. Dad's defense on Dennis forces up the mid range, which isn't going to go. Therapy gets a hold of the ball. Finds Dad's the long pass, finds the cutting Briggs handoff. No good. Briggs offensive rebound, stays with it. Hughes spins, spins again, fades, and finishes. Matt Hughes putting the spin cycle on the Nurm All Stars here. Round and around he goes. Delgado looks to match it at the other end. No good. Hughes breaks. And finishes. Timeout early here for the Newham All-Stars. Very similar to the first quarter here. As Kestrel's looking to score freely on the break. Remember, if you're watching at home, you can vote for your fan player of the game on the Team Sony Kestrels app. Currently, Issa Brown and leading all scorers with 13 points. Dads, Lloyd and Hughes following up with nine each. then about to get back underway after the NASA timeout score sitting at 61 to 31 Kessel stretching that lead out to 30 point margin with 749 left to play in the third Big B Lotton checked into the game here for number six Daniel Delgado hands off to Sempala who finds Anyamwu who's posting up on Briggs Briggs contests but Anyamwu finishes Garapi at the top, 
trying to find the holes in the NASA zone. And that's Dad's cutting in the baseline behind the back of the wing. Garapi finds it perfectly. Bigby Lawson fades, catches nothing but air as Briggs kicks to Dad's. Not quite the touchdown they were looking for as Dad looks to leak out. with the spin and the hook. Lovely finish there. Hughes no good in the mid-range. Brandon battling for the offensive rebound. Finds Dads. Thought about the three. Briggs does think about the three. Brandon, another offensive rebound, but Sempala comes up with it. Throws the ball out to Shake Sharif. Looks to get downhill with the spin move. No good with the left hand. Briggs pushing the pace, finds Dads, who goes straight to the hoop, rattles in and out, Hughes offensive rebound, that rattles in and out, finds Garapi for three, no good, Kessels with a few empty possessions here, can Nasa make use of it, Sempala, step back three, no good. Sempala looking to go one-on-one -on -one there with Brandon as Garapi finds the cutting Hughes who's fouled. Foul is called on number seven, Arif Sempala. As you see in the replay there, Garapi finding Hughes who's fouled first by Sempala on the arm. Going to be a baseline ball. Brandon mid-range butter. Nothing but net there for Issa Brandon. As high percentage as you can get in those areas. As Kestrels hold on to that 30 point lead. Dennis for three. Front rim. And Yamu, another offensive rebound. No good. Out of bounds. It's going to be. Just wait for the referee's decision there. I believe it's going to be a NASA ball as Sean Mohern is going to check into the game. For Russ Garapi. Russ Garapi heading to the bench with eight rebounds and two assists. Just a single score for him this afternoon. And Yanwu moves himself into double digits with that mid range. Brandon swings to Mulher and he thinks about the three. Fouled. Elliot Dad's finding those pockets in this NASA zone. And he's caught on the arm by Reef Sampala again, who picks up two quick fouls here for the New All Stars. First free throws off left for Elliot Dad's. Free for again as Anyamu had fallen into the lane before Elliot Dads has shot it. Luckily for Dads, after he missed it, he'll get another attempt. Oh, that one's missed too from Elliot Dads. Two legal free throws missed there for Dads as Sharif hectically looks to get downhill. Forces the shot up with no good. Looking to play one on one there as Kessels play that team basketball. That one's blocked by Anyamu. Hustling for the rebound. Bodies everywhere. Brandon on the. Dad's on the cut. Brandon finding him. three-point line, looking to make a play here. Big Bilotten, pull up, mid-range. Hits 
front rim. Two offensive rebounds for NASA. The Sempala finds Dennis in the mid range. That one's off. Mulhern pulls down the rebound, finds the running Briggs. He looks to jam it on Onyom Anyamu, but gets blocked. Bigby Lawson, air ball. As out gets Matt Hughes, finishes with no contest. At the rim, assist goes to Issa Brandon. Montel Dennis looking to set up an offense. Bigby Lawson in the corner. Looks for the cutter, but there is no cutter. Hughes. Euro blocked by Sheikh Sharif. Dads. Brandon looking to join the play. Dads for three. Hits back rim. Massa can't quite get their hands on the ball, but they do now. Sheikh Sharif downhill. Straight into the chest of Dad's good defense there. As Briggs looks to slow the offense down. Briggs ah, nearly with the finish, fouled by Anyamu. Ilias Taiwo and Joe Lloyd going to check into the game for the Kestrels. Daniel Delgado and Reese Quinn. Quinn, and they're going to check into the game for NASA. For number eight, Sheikh Sharif, and number seven, Arif Sempala. Briggs on the free throw line. First one's off right. Second free throw to come here for Ash Briggs. moves himself on to seven points personal as he checks out with seven points and nine rebounds and two blocks to his name. Quinlan with the ball looking to set the offense up for NASA. Pick set for Bigby Lotton. Gets downhill. Good defense from Taiwo. Delgado. Pump fake. Gets downhill. Looks to finish. Khan, two Kestrels players going for the same ball there and the ball bounces off both of them and out of bounds. Bit of a dispute here going on if the ball did hit, hit the rim. I think they're judging that it didn't. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Turn Nova. Brandon gets out, uses the contact and finishes. No foul called though as Brandon has to get back up and get back and play defense. Delgado downhill. Good defense from Mulhern. Quinlan for three. Short. Defensive rebound by Elliot Dads. Ball gets pushed. Great bounce pass from Issa Brandon. It's his ninth assist of the game to go along with his 15 points and 12 rebounds. One assist away here for Issa Brandon from a triple-double after an impressive display on both ends of the court. Cutting Dennis is found by Delgado, who finishes. Brandon for three. Rims out. Brandon gets round the uh, post up, finds Joe Lloyd. That's Issa Brandon's triple-double right there, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm sure he's not counting. Delgado finds Dennis, fade away mid-range, no good from the contest from Joe Lloyd. Brandon finds Lloyd in the corner, thought about the three. 
sides against it. Dad's backing down. Dennis somehow manages to find Brandon. Taiwo finds Mulhern. Drives. Floater. Great finish from Sean Mulhern off the grass. Quinlan gets downhill on Mulhern. Mulhern, good defence. Offensive rebound by Delgado. Looks to reset the offence as they get a new 14 seconds. Looks to go through the contest. Taiwo. Oh, ball stolen by Big Lotton. Delgado out on the wing. Thinks about the three. That invites him to shoot it and he does and he makes it. Four seconds left on the clock. Dads, Joe Lloyd in the corner, on the buzzer, no good. I thought that was in from up here in the commentary box for a hot minute, but Kessel leads 78 to 42 at the end of the third quarter. Being led by Issa Brandon, 17 points, 14 rebounds, eight of those offensive, 10 assists and five steals. Elliot Dads with 15 points of, of his own and 8 rebounds. Russ Garayapi with 2.7 assists and 8 rebounds. Garapi, sorry. And Matt Hughes and Joe Lloyd, the other two in double digit scoring with 11 points apiece. NASA being led by Daniel Delgado with 12 points and 5 rebounds. And young the other one in double digits, 10 points, 15 rebound, double double here. Big double double for the big man in the middle. NASA. Dress race going on here in the quarter time interval. This teams are happy for this to go ahead for the juniors. Fourth quarter action here. Score 78 to 42. Lining up, it's Elliot Dad, Zilius Taiwo, Joe Lloyd, Sean Mohan, and Sean Mahora. NASA with Daniel Delgado in the game, Arif Sempala, Montel Dennis, Reese Quinland, and coach player Anton Okria for the first time has checked into the game. Delgado looking to set up an offense. 
Okria forward with the hard screen on Elias Taiwo. Dad's ties. Dad's ties Delgado up and trouble is called. Screen using that one crosses gets downhill just misses the floater off the backboard as Quinlan gets out looking to get ahead. Sempala with the ball in hand tries to go past and Bora does great contest by Taiwo but Sempala gets his own rebound and finishes. down low, Taiwo misses the lay, misses it again. Delgado finds Quinlan, drives, ball rolls off the front of the rim. Kessel's a bit of a scrappy defensive possession here, can't quite get their hands on the ball, but the out of bounds goes the Kessel's way. Some free throws here for Elias Taiwo. First one is good. Anyway, I can think of Kestrel's having some free throws there. If there's a technical foul called by one of the referees. Anyway, we're back underway. Uh, Taiwo cutting finds Dads. Spins, gets sent back by Okria 4. Garapi looks to drive. Mabora, five seconds on the clock. Taiwo for three. Hits front rim. Dads rebound. And the second attempt, Elliot Dads can put it in. Yeah, it was a technical foul called on Daniel Delgado in the possession before that. Dennis clangs the ball off the backboard, finds Joe, Joe Lloyd's found in transition. Floater by Joe Lloyd, no good. Ball goes out of bounds off Elias Tyro's hands. As Jacob Offman looks to check into the game. Elliot Dads checks out. Elliot Dad's checking out, checking out the game with 15, 17 points and 10 rebounds to go for a double-double. Delgado downhill on Sean Mabora. Looks to find the cutting on Yamwu, but can't. And Yamwu can't quite finish. Scarapi looks to break. Balls bouncing around. It's a NASA possession. Quinlan drives on Offman. The referees are going to call that a foul. That ball's inbounded to Delgado. Quinlan thinks about the three. Steps back. Floats are over Offman. No good, but Anyamu clearing up the offensive rebounds again. Finding Delgado. No good. Foul called by Quinn on the arm of Taiwo as they both battle for the rebound. Kessel's in a set here for Joe Lloyd in the corner. For three, no good. Ball's tipped out for Delgado who pulls up. Looks to find Quinlan who finds 
Dennis. So Dennis puts himself onto nine points here this afternoon. The score sits at 81 to 46. Tyro in the corner, finds Joe Lloyd on the wing, finds Garapi in the mid-range, and that's good. Delgado going to work down low. Sampala on the wing, drives. It's no good. Garapi crosses, skips past one, finds Mabora in the corner for three. No good, Taiwo and Offman battling for the offensive rebound. Offman pulls it down and finishes. Jacob Offman, eight points on debut here at the Solon Sports Complex. Mabora pulls down the rebound at the defensive end. This is the layup. There's a lob opportunity there that Newham decides to take. Matt Hughes checking into the game for Ilias Taiwo. Straight into the game and straight back onto the score sheet. And Yamwu looks to jam it but misses. Sheikh Sharif doubled in the post. Dennis on the drive. No good. Offman rebound. Garapi getting downhill. Floater. And it's good. Now at 89 to 48 in favour of the Kestrels, 41 point lead. They look to double, but cutting and Yamu is found and he'll finish. Therapy going to work at the top. Mabora running Hughes off and found, blocked by Sharif. Sharif looks to get downhill. Hands off to Delgado, stripped by Hughes, as Hughes will get out and will finish. Matt Hughes with 15 points personal now, Kessels with four scorers in double digits. Delgado finishes at the rim despite the contact from Offman. The three is good from Joe Lloyd in the corner. Fourteen points for under 18 Joe Lloyd. Good defensive pressure there from Hughes and Offman. Forced the steal. Garapi finds Offman. Can't quite finish. Rebound pulled down by Sheikh Sharif. Good defense by Sean Mabora. Delgado, pump fake, pulls, no good. Good box out from Garapi. Who finds Hughes and finishes. Another steal for Russ Garapi. Ball turned over though, however, by Russ. As Amyamwu dunks the ball home. Hughes foul, blocked, but called a foul by referee Tim Brown. Substitutions coming here for both teams. Arif Sempala and 
Bigby Lotton is going to check into the game. As Anwan, who picks up his fourth foul, but will still stay in the game with two minutes 27 left to play. Joe Lloyd checks out for Sean Mulhern. Joe Lloyd finishing with 14 points for himself. Five for nine shooting, three for six from three as Matt Hughes knocks down his first free throw. Hughes' second free throw is good, moving himself on to 19 points. Kestrel sitting near the three digit mark, 98 to 54. Hughes with 19 points, five rebounds and four assists now here this afternoon, leading all scorers. Garapi's checked out the game. Brash Briggs. Sempala, fadeaway three, nothing but net. Arif Sempala makes his fourth three of the game. Shooting, shooting the ball at 50% from three this afternoon. Labora looks to find Briggs. Calm and the ball's turned over again. Bigby Lawson kicks ahead to Sempala. Sempala, pump fake, downhill. Looks to dunk it on Offman, but can't quite. Mabora caught in the face. As I think Mabora will go out the game here. Taiwo checks back into the game for Mabora. Good pressure there from Offman. The ball is found in the new All Stars hands. Offensive rebound again by Anyamwu. Kestrels moving himself into double digits. Sempala for three. Answers straight back. Five threes for Eve Sempala. Mulhern finds the cutting Taiwo. Who finds Briggs. Briggs blocked by Sheikh Sharif. Sharif looks to get downhill. Hoffman with the rebound. Finds Taiwo, crossover. Everything looking a bit scrappy here. As Briggs somehow finds Hughes in the corner. Hughes drives. Taiwo finds Briggs. And that's going to be a new All Stars ball with 38 seconds left here on the clock. Kessel's leading the game. 162. Bigby Lawson blocked by Ash Briggs. from Quinland up and over the bigs. It's Kestrels. They're gonna run out winners here this afternoon at the SSC in the earlier tip-off, finishing the start of 2023-24 season in NBL Division Two South. Undefeated. Kestrels led today by Matt Hughes with 19 points. Brandon with a 17.14 rebound and 10 assists triple-double. Elliot Dads with a double-double of 17 points, 10 rebounds. Russ Garayapi with 6 points, 12 rebounds, 9 assists. Joe Lloyd and Jacob Offman are adding 14 and 10 points off the bench, respectively, for themselves. NASA, four scorers in double digits. And Nyamwu with a massive 16.16 .16 rebound, double-double. Shake, 
Um, Dennis finishing 11 points. Arif Sampala, 17 points, shooting 5 for 9 from the 3 point line. Daniel Delgado with 14 points. Kestrels are back home in the new year. The women and the men heading off on the first game back. The ladies unfortunately losing out today on the road to Bristol Flyers, 69 to 38. Tilly Gollard having 18 points and nine rebounds in her return to the starting lineup for the ladies this afternoon. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. Be sure to uh, join us in the new year when Kestrels take on the rest of NBL Division 2. They welcome Milton Keynes Breakers to the SSC. These two teams battling out at the top of the league this season. It'll be a game that you will not want to miss, if, whether you're in attendance at the SSC or you watch on the stream. The ladies heading off against Ipswich Basketball Club the day after on the Sunday. Team Sonic Kestrel is here today, and so and I would like to extend a massive Merry Christmas out to everyone and a Happy New Year. We hope to see you in 2024. So, Matt, you are officially top scorer again today. <laughs> that was a big win. How did it go for you on the, on the court? I mean, for me personally, again, obviously, nice to be top scorer, get out and run like I do. I mean, like you said, another win, another 100 points. I think that's, what, five or six games in a row now in the league, scoring 100 points. So, it's a good feeling for sure. To win by such a margin as we're doing as well with the team we have, it's good. Uh, it's the end of the calendar year now. You're heading into the second half of the season. You're still undefeated in the league. That's got to be a good thing to hold on to going into 2024. Yeah, of course. I mean, we've got a big one first game back. We've got MK, who probably out to get vengeance on us. Obviously, they would be undefeated if we didn't beat them second game. So it's nice to get that momentum going. I think we definitely surprised ourselves this year a little bit, being unbeaten. But yeah, it's good because we're winning by such big margins as well. It's nice for sure. Look at NASA with a team you played in the first game of the season. That yeah. was a 38 point win. Again, you've done a very similar kind of margin. Are you surprised by how much you just continue to dominate the league? Uh, it's a bit surprising because, like we said, we played Westminster last week, who were Division 1 last year. Going to be a bit tough. I mean, these London teams, I've played London teams since I was 12 years old, so I know what to expect now. Just going to come in big, tall, athletic, strong guys. So you expect them to put up a bit of a fight and not go down as easy as some of these teams are going down, but yeah. So you've got the Christmas period now where yeah. you can have a little bit of a rest, have a little <laughs> bit of food to eat. What's the plan, though, to make sure you don't drop off your game over the holiday period? Uh, just try and get outdoors as much as I can, go to outdoor uh, parks to play, stay in the gym, just stay active, really, because now, now we're off for uh, two weeks, I believe. So, yeah, definitely, definitely time for me, personally. Enjoy myself a little bit, eat some food, drink some beer, take some time off, take some time to reflect, let my body recover and take it from there, see what happens. Finally, Jacob Hoffman made his debut today. It's yeah. a pretty good debut, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of the itching guys that are very good up and coming. I mean, I think he's still, I think he's only in his first year of college, so shout out to him getting 10 points and eight rebounds. It's not easy to come in. But obviously, what a few injuries with Will being out, Archie being out, so he's come in, stepped up as a big, fair player, man. I respect him, I respect him. I owe my respect today. Thank you so much, Thank congratulations you. again. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Yeah, you too.